Hello dear PHP developer, thank you for coming. In this very short tutorial I'll be talking about simple things. Things like automatic closing of brackets and automatic closing of quotes and also automatic closing of some HTML tags. Things which go such a long way when it comes to boosting your productivity and enabling you to code so much faster. Let's take a look at this simple example of PHP code. In this example I make a call to create function to create a function which simply performs an addition of two variables passed to it, the so-called anonymous function. As you can see PHP the editor nicely highlights matching brackets for me. Now let's start typing a new line. Start typing echo because I'd like to make a call to echo function and code completion of course gives me a nice hint. So I hit enter and I get my function. Now let's start typing. Quote my function dollar sign new and of course code completion and phpd works perfectly fine within the string just like it does outside of the string so if I keep on typing I can get my variable hit enter now I have it as you noticed when I typed in this quote nothing else happened the system didn't provide the closing quote for me as always, I am in full control of this behavior. I can go to Tool Settings and go to Editor Settings this time. And I can see that I can turn on Auto Close of the brackets and Auto Close of the quotes. So let's try it on. Let's type it. Let's actually erase what we just typed. Well, let's see what happens when this feature is on. When I hit Enter, I get new bracket. When I type in quote, I automatically get a closing quote and I can type inside. Now, uh, what if I didn't want this? What if I wanted just one quote? So let's see, I type quote. The software is smart enough to realize that this is a closing quote and it doesn't type new one. But if I keep on typing, every time when I type a quote, the software closes it with matching quote. However, if I realize that I made a mistake and I want to delete this quote, the software is smart enough to delete both the quote I entered and the quote that was generated by the editor. You can see that the same behavior is available with brackets. Type in the bracket, gives me closing bracket. Delete it, the bracket is deleted. Both of the brackets are deleted actually. Let's go further. Type in the bracket and keep on typing. If I type another bracket, the software is smart enough to override the bracket that was just generated by the editor. And let me continue with my typing. Because very often I type with my eyes down to the keyboard. So my function, here's my quote, I can do this, and now let's type in dollar sign, new function, yep, code completion is here, and bracket, delete, well, everything is killed, as I want it, function, again, dot, dollar sign, new function, there, bracket, and type in 5, comma, 6, like to get a sum of 5 and 6, semicolon, well, instant error analysis shows me that there is a parse error, that's because I forgot the matching bracket, and I can see that software still highlights matching brackets for me, which by the way can also be turned off if I don't like it. Now let's type in closing bracket, now I see that I'm all done. I can move on. So there you go, auto closing of the brackets and auto closing of the quotes is fully supported in PHPD and it's also fully customizable by the user. Now let's take a look at HTML tags. When I type HTML tag bracket, I also get a hint from code completion and I can find, so let's type in HTML, close the bracket. Let's open the body tag. Here we go, body tag, select it, close. Now we got the HTML in body. Now let's type in title. Title. So now I'd like to close my title and type it in. So let's take a look at the settings available for auto closure of HTML tags. Once again, we're going to tool settings. Under editor settings, under reserved words, let's select the language HTML and take a look at predefined function and tags on the right side here. You can see you can have a name, group, auto close, on or off, and change case. Let's, let's go down and find title here. 
And by the way, I can always add a new entry. Let's select the title row and hit edit. So you can see, I can actually change the name of the tag, turn on auto close, and tell the system whether to change the case, to upper, to lower, or leave it alone with no changes. Hit OK. Now, as you can see, the close is turned on for title. Let's take a look at the system behavior with that setting on. So let's get rid of the title now. Start typing. So once again, code completion comes really handy here. Hit title, close, and the system automatically closes the title tag. I can now type inside and say here's my new function. Now, what if auto close is off, but I still want to close the tag which I just typed? Let's take a look at this body tag. Place cursor next to it and I hit Control shift c The system closes the tag standing to the left of the cursor even though the closure is off. I can actually invoke it manually anytime I'd like to. So the same thing with HTML. The tag can be closed, it can be closed. When working in PHPD there is a simple rule of thumb. If you'd like to change the behavior of the editor, of the IDE or anything else, you can bet on finding the way to do it on the tools settings. The number of options available on the tools settings is enormous. You can change IDE settings, IDE shortcuts, associations of the files, control the behavior of code inside. I'll cover more of the settings in the next tutorials. For now, thank you and goodbye.